Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 15. Now in the eighteenth year of King Yaravam, the son of Nivat reigned Arivam, rather Aviam, over Yahuda. Three years reigned he in Yerushalayim, and his mother's name was Ma'aka, the daughter of Avishalom. And he walked in all the sins of his father, which he had done before him. And his heart was not perfect with Yahuwah Eloheyu, as the heart of David, his father. Nevertheless, for David's sake did Yahuwah Eloheyu give him a lamp in Yerushalayim, to set up eth his son after him, and to establish eth Yerushalayim. Because David did eth that which was right in the eyes of Yahuwah, and turned not aside from anything that he commanded him all the days of his life, save only in the matter of Uriahu, the Chiti. And there was war between Rechavam and Yaravam all the days of his life. Now the rest of the acts of Aviam and all that he did, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yahuda? And there was war between Aviam and Yaravam. And Aviam slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David. And Acha, his son, reigned in his stead. And in the twentieth year of Yaravam, king of Yashar'el reigned Acha over Yahuda. And forty and one years reigned he in Yerushalayim, and his mother's name was Ma'aka, the daughter of Avshalom. And Acha did that which was right in the eyes of Yahuwah, as did David his father. And he took away the Sadamim out of the land, and removed Eth all the idols that his fathers had made. And also Eth Ma'aka his mother, even her he removed from being queen, because she had made Eth an idolatrous Asherah pole. And Echa destroyed her idol and burnt it by the brook Kidran. But the high places were not removed. Nevertheless, Acha's heart was perfect with Yahuwah all his days. And he brought Eth in the things which his father had dedicated, and the things which himself had dedicated, into the house of Yahuwah, silver and gold and vessels. And there was war between Acha and Baasha, king of Yashar'el, all their days. And Baasha, king of Yashar'el, went up against Yahuda and built Eth Ramah, that he might not suffer any to go out or to come in to Acha, king of Yahuda. Then Acha took Eth all the silver and the gold that were left in the treasures of the house of Yahuwah and Eth the treasures of the king's house and delivered them into the hand of his servants. And King Acha sent them to Bain Hadad, the son of Tavremon, the son of Chezian, king of Aram, that dwelt at Damascus, saying, There is a league between me and you, and between my father and your father. Behold, I have sent unto you a present of silver and gold. Come, and break eth your league with eth Basha, king of Yashad'el, that he may depart from me. So Bain Hadad hearkened unto King Acha, and sent Eth the captains of the hosts which he had against the cities of Yashadael, and smote Eth Leon, and Eth Dan, and Eth Avel Beat Maaka, and Eth all Kinneroth, with all the land of Naphtali. And it came to pass, 
when Basha heard thereof, that he left off building Eth of Ramah, and dwelt in Tertza. Then King Acha made Eth a proclamation throughout all Yehuda. None was exempted, and they took away Eth the stones of Ramah, and Eth the timber thereof, wherewith Basha had built. And King Acha built with them Eth Giva of Binyamin, and Eth Mitzpah. The rest of all the acts of Acha, and all his might, and all that he did, and the cities which he built, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yahuda? Nevertheless, in the time of his old age, he was diseased eth in his feet. And Acha slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers in the city of David his father. And Yahushaphat, his son, reigned in his stead. And Nadav, the son of Yaravam, began to reign over Yashadael in the second year of Acha, king of Yahuda, and reigned over Yashadael two years. And he did evil in the sight of Yahuwah, and walked in the way of his father, and in his sin wherewith he made Eth. Yashadael to sin. And Basha, the son of Achiyahu, of the house of Yishachar, conspired against him, and Basha smote him at Gibithon, which belonged to the Pelishtim, for Nadav and all Yashadael laid siege to Gibithon. Even in the third year of Acha, King of Yahuda did Baasha slay him and reigned in his stead. And it came to pass, when he reigned, that he smote at all the house of Yarovam. He left not to Yarovam any that breathed until he had destroyed him, according unto the saying of Yahuwah, which he spoke by his servant Achiyahu the Shiloni. Because of the sins of Yaravam, which he sinned, and which he made at Yashadael sin, by his provocation, wherewith he provoked at Yahuwah, Elohai, of Yashadael to anger. Now the rest of the acts of Nadav, and all that he did, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashadael? And there was war between Acha and Basha, king of Yashadael, all their days. In the third year of Acha, king of Yahuda, began Basha, the son of Achiyahu, to reign over all Yashadael in Tertza, twenty and four years. And he did evil in the sight of Yahuwah and walked in the way of Yaravam, and in his sin wherewith he made Eth Yashadael to sin.